Dear students, my name is Kamran Mir from Alama Iqbal Open University, Pakistan. I am your resource person for your course Web Programming 1 that is Client Side Scripting. I hope you are enjoying your course so far. So far you have learned how to develop a web page which is static in nature. In today's session, we will see how you can make your web page interactive by using small piece of JavaScript code. We will use JavaScript pop-up boxes to make your static web page slightly interactive. There are three types of JavaScript pop-up boxes. Number one, alert box. Number two is confirm box. And number three is prompt box. First, we will see what is an alert box. What is its purpose and how to use it in your web page. By definition, an alert box is a type of pop-up message box which is normally used when you want to give some special alert information or warning to the user. When an alert box pops up, the user will have to click OK to proceed. Let us create an alert box. We will use Notepad as an editor, which is the default text editor for all Windows operating system. First of all, go to Start menu and type Notepad in search bar. Now click on Notepad icon to open a blank document. Now create a basic web page structure starting with a tag of HTML, closing the tag of HTML, then opening tag of head and then closing tag of head, opening tag of body and then closing tag of body. Now we will add the script tag inside the head section of your HTML document in which we will type our JavaScript code. Now add a button inside the body section by typing button space type is equal to button the text to be displayed on the button and then closing the button tag. Now inside your script tag create a function by typing the keyword function followed by function name for example show alert box and then the body of function using curly braces. In the body of function, write alert and then message inside it in double quotes. Let us type here, this is an alert box. Use semicolon at the end of statement. Now we will add an onclick event inside the button tag to display the alert box. Type the name of function followed by a semicolon, that is show alert box semicolon. That's it. Now click on file menu and select save to save your document. Browse for the location where you want to save it. Give a meaningful name in the file name box followed by .html extension and then click save. Now open your web page in any web browser. For example, let us open it in a Google Chrome. Now you can see a web page having a button on it. Once you click on the button, an alert box will appear with the text, this is an alert box. Click OK to dismiss the alert box. Whenever an alert box pops up, you have to click OK to proceed. Now, let us see what is confirm box in JavaScript. A confirm box is used if you want user to accept something. When a confirm box pops up, you have to click either OK or cancel to proceed. If you click OK, this will return true value. And if you click on cancel, this will return false value. Let us create a confirm box. Open the same web page in Notepad using open with option. Rename the function name show alert box to show confirm box. Also rename the function name mentioned inside on click event. Now delete the function body. After button code, create a paragraph tag with id equals to demo and then close the paragraph tag. Inside the function body, create a variable temp followed by semicolon. Now we will check the result of confirm box using if statement. Inside if statement type confirm double equals to true means if the value returned by the user is true or ok then we will assign value to temp variable that is you pressed ok.
If you press OK button, confirm box will appear. If the result is true, string you pressed OK will be stored in temp variable. Otherwise, it will be storing you pressed cancel. To display the result of temp variable inside the paragraph P, we created earlier, we will use JavaScript object document function. That is document dot get element by ID dot inner HTML equals to the variable name that is temp. When we will click on button, show confirm box function will be called and it will print message inside paragraph tag. Now save the file by going to file menu and click save. Now open your web page in Google Chrome, click on the button and press OK. This will display message below the button that you pressed OK. Now click again on the button and this time press cancel you will see the message will change accordingly. Finally, we will see the function of prompt box in JavaScript. A prompt box is used when you need to take some input from user. When a prompt box pops up, you have to click either OK or Cancel to proceed. But after entering a value, if you click OK, the function will return the input value and if we click Cancel, this will return a null value. Now let us create a prompt box. Open the same web page in notepad using open with option. Rename the function name, show confirm box to show prompt box. Delete the function body. Rename the function name mentioned inside on click event to show prompt box. Inside function body, create a variable person name so you can save user given value in it. Next. Create a prompt box with a custom message in double quotes and assign it to a variable person name. We will confirm using if statement to see if the value given by the user is not null. If person name is not null, then the input value will be printed inside paragraph tag. In JavaScript, dollar sign equal to is used to represent not equals to. Inside the body of if condition, we will use the same JavaScript object document function, that is, document dot get element by id, id of a paragraph, that is demo, dot inner html equals to the string of welcome plus variable name followed by semicolon. In JavaScript, plus sign is used for concatenation. It means joining two strings or variables to make a new string. Now save the file by going to file menu and click save. Now open your web page in Google Chrome and click the button. A prompt box will appear. Enter your name and click OK. Now you can see the same name in the document body. Dear students, I hope you have enjoyed today's class. In today's session, we have covered the basic concept and implementation of JavaScript pop-up boxes. Now you have learned how to make your web page interactive by adding the JavaScript code. Now I want you to implement the same code by using your own examples. See you next time with some other topic. Till then, take care. Bye.